Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play a Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I ran outside real quick to go and uh, grab my crowbar. Uh, we were missing that. Um, I'm not sure what's down here in the basement, uh, besides this zombie right here. Uh, but I do want to be able to uh, do a little bit of uh, prying. Uh, oh, boy. We seem to be surrounded. Uh, okay, let's jump over here and get in the table. Oh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get surrounded. All right, there's one, two, and three. All right, wasn't too bad at all. Uh, yeah, so we do, we do have our crowbar now. Uh, so we can, we can actually pry through things, uh, should we need to. Uh, what are we looking at here? Arcade machines. We drag that? No, we can't. Huh. I want an arcade machine in my base. <laughs> Alright, sounds like we got some action over here. Uh, zombie child. Hard to hit, and they give us a little bit of a debuff. What is that debuff now? Uh, v. Uh, did we not? Huh. Okay, so we didn't get, uh, the guilty? Cool. Um, I, I was always wishing that there was a way, you know, you kill one, you feel bad, you kill two, you feel bad, but after a while, can't we just say, you know, I don't feel bad for killing zombie children anymore. <laughs> And it looks like something like that may have, uh, may have been added in, or, uh, or, or maybe it's always been there and I just, I just didn't notice. Is this the one that goes up to the kitchen? Yes, it is. All right, we got, we got crates. Six glass bottles of Cabernet. Okay. A little bit of pipage. Uh, what do we got over here? There's lots of, like, storage stuff. Uh, is that a shopping cart? It is. It's a laundry cart. Okay. Excuse me. All right. A lot of laundry down here. And a uh, zombie. Finish up this room. It sounds like we've got a lot of friends over to our east. Uh, what has changed? It seems like something is different. Um, I, I seem to be missing a lot more. Cargo pants are almost dead. That's not a thing, though. Maybe it's just we have the less to hit on the Morningstar than we did on the... Uh, melee attack rolls, minus 15%, but we've always had that same level. Head encumbrance doesn't matter. Legs and feet. Hmm. Maybe... Painkillers? Speed minus 6. Huh. I don't know, maybe it's just uh, random number generator stuff. But I sure feel like I'm missing a lot more than I used to. Uh, maybe it's like a dark thing? I don't know. Do 
go ahead and open up some of these crates uh, so we don't have to take our, our crowbar with us as we come and do our looting run. Yeah. Miss. 21. 17. Another miss. Hmm. Not quite sure what changed. It's like that icon right here. I know that that's a bike helmet, and the reason that I know that that's a bike helmet is because that does not look like a bike helmet to me. At all. But, uh, it's one of those things. Yeah, bike helmet. <laughs> Maybe I need to take it out in the sun and, and look at it. I, I just don't see a bike helmet there. It's, it's, it's strange to me. Or maybe, maybe I'm just not aware of what a bike helmet should look like. Maybe what I'm thinking is a bike helmet is, is, is something different. I mean, maybe like if that's like the helmet and then this, these are like straps coming down, maybe that's what I'm missing. It, it looks like an outboard engine to me, <laughs> like an outboard like on a motorboat. <laughs> not criticizing. Uh, not, that, that's not what I'm saying. I, I, it's more like it, it's it's just I'm not I'm just not seeing it. Uh, what do we got here? Some arrows, simple metal bolts. Okay. Wasn't planning on using crossbows. I was going to uh, give the arrows a good shot, though. And see when we get back, we can't uh, create some better ones. We might be able to disassemble of those and uh, turn them into something that we can use. Uh, how are we looking here? Okay, we are pretty consistent in our, in our clockwise motion. Um, I might just run up and check this room. Uh, this looks like it may not go all the way through. Okay. And does this just go to a, a middle room? Smash you down. All right, now we're getting off of my pattern. And I definitely need to slow down a little bit. Let's see, we are on this level right here. This goes up to that staircase, all right. Got like a theater room. I'm not sure what happened there. It's like he kind of jumped through the doorway or something. This is clear. Yep. Another laundry room. Is that it for that wing? Looks like it. Make our way up this direction. Go 
Wait a couple crates down here. I'm going to go ahead and open those up. Uh, wall? <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that seems like it should go somewhere, doesn't it? I've played enough video games to know that that's, that's a secret door or something right there. Uh, but then again, I've played enough uh, roguelike games to know that that may, know, that may go absolutely nowhere, and that's just uh, just map gen. Falling zombie up here. Non-crawling zombie down here. Boy, yeah, I feel like we're just, like, pelting through these guys. I I like it. I I, I feel like, um, whenever I first started playing again, I was playing on the experimental, uh, not the experimental, on the stable uh, version, uh, just to, for for a more stable experience. And, and you know, it, it changed a little bit from the, the, the version I was used to, but not very much. I um, actually thought it was really, really, really tough, and I'm not quite sure if it's that um, I feel that the game is harder, or maybe I just got better at it, but I, I feel like the experimental version is just so much easier. Uh, the loot's better. Uh, the fact that we were just clearing all this with these low-level zombies um, at, uh, at, at the level that we're at is, is, is kind of crazy to me. Um, this is interesting. But yeah, no, I, I definitely feel like the experimental is a lot easier than the, the current stable version is. Ah, what have we here? A uh, closed metal door, huh? Um, well, I think we could probably go get a torch and open that right up, but I believe, um... I believe we're we're clear here. Uh, I'm calling. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think I think this is good. There's a little area over to the east that we haven't explored, and and this room right here. But other than that, I think we're good. Let's go. Let's go check this out real quick. Oh, can I not? Can I not get over there? Guess not. Can we climb over it? No, we can't. Uh, what happens if we smash it? This is probably a bad idea. Uh, moving off the sewage. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here. <laughs> uh, gross. Um, I wonder if that's going to negatively affect me in any way. Stepping in in raw sewage. Sure, it's not going to be great for us. All right, uh, let's make our way on out. Get into that sunshine again. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we cleared out every room. Um, it looks like there's a coyote off to that side. I'm not too concerned about. Um, all right, let's uh, wear our hiking backpack. And um, let's see, I think I think that's really it. All right, well, let's go in there and uh, let's see what we can loot. Uh, I think I'm going to start at the bottom and work our way up, because it seemed like there was a lot more stuff in general down here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. A couple things I'm keeping my eye out for, because uh, I think there are actually a couple of items that we're missing in order to get the uh, to get the survival armor. It's not any of that stuff. 
Uh, any food stuff I will take, though. Toastums, graham crackers, a bunch of refrigerators, and no. Just making sure there weren't any secret doors back there. Last bottle of single pot still Irish whiskey. Okay. Wood. Things. Nothing that we need. Um, jeans. Tighter winter coat. Uh, cell phone. Uh, another cell phone, uh, motorcycle touring suit. We'll take that. We'll take the leather jacket. Uh, just because they they give a lot of leather, lot of leather. Uh, motorcycle helmet. Uh, no makes in plastic. Uh, anything there? No. Uh, anything here? No. Electric outfit. We'll grab one of those. I don't think we have one. Uh, cell phone. Uh, morale device. Okay. Aluminum bat. Hmm. Budget steel and cotton. Blanket, blanket, uh, bandages. Okay, so, um, I'm not really all that impressed <laughs> by, uh, the loot so far. Nothing, nothing too great at all. Oh, I meant to go get a, a torch to open up that uh, open up that room, and I did not. Uh, we will definitely do that before we go. Hmm. Yeah, like the duct tape there may be our best find. <laughs> uh, oil lamp, lamp oil. We don't need that. I don't know why I picked it up. Uh, we don't need that because we've got the, um, we've got the atomic lamps, so those kind of lamps are, are useless. Uh, let's see, do we have anything in our inventory that we could use? Uh, can we use the bolt cutters? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll be back for you, mystery door. Yeah, and I think if we had a jackhammer or a pickaxe, I don't know if there's going to be anything in that room. Uh, let's see, have we been up here already? I don't remember. Well, I don't remember seeing a, a... Ooh, a recurve bow. Let's take that. Uh, aluminum foil. Seems like that would have a use. Let's 
sponge. I, it seems like I, I have a mental note to pick up a sponge, and I think I've picked up a sponge like a million times now. So <laughs> we probably have a lot of sponges. All right, a whole bunch of uh, really nothing interesting in here. Um, make a note of that. Um, I'm glad we did it. Uh, I feel like we at least got our bashing weapons up to two, I believe. Yeah, and melee's up to 54%. So, yeah, we're, we're... It was worth it for the skill gain, but... As far as the loot, uh, do we have a wood saw? I don't know. We'll, we'll take it with us. Uh, peroxide. Um, I did not check to look and see if any... Nope, we don't have any, like, issues with infection or anything like that. And rocks. All right. Well, uh, that was something. Kind of disappointing. Uh, nothing in this whole stack here of things. Uh, motorcycle boat boots. There's some Kevlar. We'll take that. Um, another travel pack. We've kind of graduated from that. All right, well, um, I'm going to just kind of go through all of this. Um, sounds like we have another friend. Uh, probably just try to avoid him if possible. I feel like we've beaten up enough people at this point. We don't have to prove anything else. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of loot through this area and uh, see if there's anything I may want to pick up. But uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where I think we're going to want to go back um, and do a little bit of research and uh, see what we can craft. Uh, Book of Dances. I'm going to grab that. And uh, we'll take it just to make our, our collection complete. I don't think we're going to be utilizing a lot of stuff in it, though. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.